Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. In this video, I am discussing about bronchiolitis. So, bronchiolitis is a lower respiratory tract bronchial infections. Remember, lower respiratory tract infection occur in bronchiolitis. Microbiology, the organism responsible, that is respiratory syncytial virus is the most common. And others are rhinovirus, parainfluenza virus, human metanuma virus and influenza virus. So, bronchiolitis is a lower respiratory tract infections in the bronchioles and Respiratory syncytial virus is the most common cause of bronchiolitis. Now the clinical features. Bronchiolitis mainly occurs primarily in children less than or equal 2 years of old. Remember, less than or equal 2 years of old. Then the patient may present so it often precipitated by a 1 to 3 day upper respiratory tract infection, prodrome, fever, cough. Respiratory distress like tachypnea, retraction, wheezing, crackles, these are also present. I am again repeating the clinical features. First, in bronchiolitis, that is happened, children ages less than or equal 2 years of old. And bronchiolitis often precipitated by a 1 to 3 day upper respiratory tract infection prodrome. Then develop fever, cough, patient has respiratory distress, these are tachypnea, retractions, wheezing and crackles. Now, what are the complications of bronchiolitis? These are dehydration, apnea, premature and less than 2 months old, aspiration pneumonia and respiratory failure. So, Bronchiolitis patients develop rehydration, apnea, premature and less than 2 months old, aspiration, pneumonia, respiratory failure. These are the complications of bronchiolitis. Now about management. Management we divide two headlines, non-severe bronchiolitis and severe bronchiolitis. Non-severe bronchiolitis we do anticipatory guidance, nasal suctioning and hydration. And severe bronchiolitis there is trial of inhaled bronchodilator controversial. Then heated humidified high flow nasal cannula, continuous positive airway pressure and endotracheal intubations. So management of bronchiolitis is two types, first non-severe and severe. If the patient is non-severe features, patient is good, then mainly supportive management. These are anticipatory guidance, nasal suctioning and hydration. But if the patient has uh, sign symptoms is severe, condition is not good, then we start the treatment trial of inhaled bronchodilator. Inhaled bronchodilator, it is a controversial. Then we can use heated, humidified, high flow nasal cannula, continuous positive airway pressure, and endotracheal intubation. This is all about bronchiolitis. Please do subscribe and share Dr. M. Mass Medicine YouTube channel. Thank you.